What a win it would be for the Destiny Christian Academy Lions to come out and take down the Dixon Rams, who come into Monday with 10 straight wins to start the season. Here we go. First possession, QB Emily Morris looking downfield for Jordan Callen. Get ready to hear that connection a lot in this game. Same drive, Morris across the middle to Daisy Delgado, but a nice flag pull from Aaliyah Wilcox saves a tutty. For the moment, at least, Dixon gets down to the two. Morris to Callen for the score, 6 nothing Rams. Dixon playing some defense now. Destiny QB Addison Johnson under pressure, and the pass is broken up by Savannah Grafe, and the ball goes back to the Rams. Kiara Jasper takes the handoff, but Kyla Brown is there for the stop. The Lions get three straight defensive stops in the first half, including this INT from Willow Sandry, and Destiny Christian keeping it tight with three minutes to go. But on the very next play, Dixon takes the ball right back as Jordan Callen says, give me that. The Rams take back over with excellent field position, and Emily Morris once again to Callen, their second TD hookup of the game, and it's 12-0 Rams at the break. But the Lions come out firing on the first play of the second half. Addison Johnson across the middle to Aaliyah Wilcox, getting the Lions into Dixon territory right away. But the Rams squash that drive as Daisy Delgado smelling like daisies with that interception, and the Rams go back to work on offense. Emily Morris might be the best kept secret in the section at QB. Check out the dime to Jordan Callen for the hat trick, this time from 35 yards out, and it's 20 to nothing Rams. Dixon trying to add on. They go hook and ladder, but Willow Sandry is there to snuff it out for a loss, but it only delayed the inevitable. Morris once again to Callen for the fourth time on Monday. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Dixon moves to 11-0. I think just having more girls come out. I mean, we had bare minimum girls last year. It was a new sport, like Emily said. And having this group of girls and even having a JV team this year has had so much progress. And we're creating a statement at the school. We're proving a point. I think, I think last year we had, I think, nine girls, almost not enough to fill the field. And now we have 26 girls this year. Yeah. So we're improving by a lot of girls.